Fidel Castro celebrated his 89th birthday by reminding everyone he was still alive. <laughs> One day ahead of Secretary Kerry's visit to Cuba to take the historic step of reopening the embassy in Havana, Castro decided to return the favor and stick the U.S. with a bill. He wants compensation for the trade embargo that has been in effect since 1962. Writing about the USA in the official communist newspaper Grandma, Castro referenced, it's true, Castro referenced the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and Nixon abandoning the gold standard, claiming he violated commitments made by FDR. You should really read the whole article. It gives new meaning to living in the past. <laughs> well, maybe we should just pay his bill. Then we can send him a bill for the Mariel boat lift in the 80s when he emptied his prisons and mental hospitals onto the beach in Miami. While we're at it, a bill for all the property he sees when he and his commie thugs took over the country and turned it into a prison island. You see how excited I get talking about this stuff? <laughs> I miss the Cold War. Liz, I keep forgetting that Castro is alive. Well, do you call that alive? I think he's pumped up with formaldehyde. <laughs> Did we even see that he was Aww. actually moving? I am very like like. Uh, I, I don't know. He is. They. They. He's always kind of propped up in a chair. I saw him on a bus, though. They had him. Uh, he was driving around in a bus. But he mm -hmm. was propped up. Yes, he was. Well, well. I think that the serious question here is how dare he? I mean, I, people can't yeah. be surprised by this, but yeah. he's telling us we owe them money. Yeah. How about they seized Coca-Cola plants, Exxon Mobil, Hilton hotels? Mm -hmm. So let's call it even. That's. I mean, <laughs> that's that'd be the funniest thing that we call it even because obviously <laughs> he seized all these huge companies. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. Is he still calling the shots there, or is it Raul, who has so much more personality? Oh, I think the propped up with formaldehyde Fidel <laughs> Castro is... It's still is, running the show. Oh, don't you think? This is a great movie. It was amazing. Weekend at Fidel's. Psycho. I love this. <laughs> yes, it's like Psycho. Well, you know, the great thing about Cuba is the classic cars, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And they're going to open that up. We're going to go down there, because there's actually there's, there's just a shell of an economy, so nobody can buy a new car down there, yeah, so you, they keep refurbishing the old ones. Yeah, the hottest new car is a 61 Buick Skylark. <laughs> and I want to say this. <laughs> Uh, about that specific notion of them having these amazing cars. Uh, people come up to me a lot on the street and have been talking to me about this because I look like I know something about cars. <laughs> I don't really, but people come up to me and just assume I'm a guy who knows about gears and stuff. Uh, what I've been told by people who really do know is that all of their cars are kind of bastardized because they can't get parts. True. So you're driving like a Buick with Hyundai parts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. They're all rigged together. We're not, there's this idea of a pristine car collection in Cuba doesn't really exist. Although people are saying, you see it on the internet, they're saying, oh, now that with the embargo, it's uh, all those wonderful old cars. We're going to yeah. see the end of the wonderful, the, uh, the Cuban life. You know, they, they yeah. romanticize yeah, the, it's, the peasantry down there. That's exactly, a, you know. yeah. We don't need your cars. We need your shortstops. <laughs> <Fast. laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> now, that is true, right? Now, Matt, uh, it seems quaint these days because as one of the last holdouts of the old communist era, uh, it seems, you know, kind of like, it, it almost seems kind of quaint, but in fact, you know, uh, we forget about the, the murder and human rights abuses. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> all that. <laughs> the thing is, I think we, we, we established a treaty here, right? Yeah. And th this is sort of a footnote. This is a, hey, it's like an arrow at the end of the treaty. It says, turn over, by the way, and this, the directions <laughs> in Spanish that we just skip over because we thought it's the same thing it was in English, right? I mean, when did they become China? This is not, uh, mm. this is it's laughable is what, it, is what it is. And their economy will recover mm. once we all start going down there on Carnival Cruises, Cruises you yeah. know, of course. That's well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's going to, uh, opening up relations is going to help them, obviously. Obviously, but I mean, many people down there in the uh, Cuban community down in Florida, they don't want, they like the embargo. They, they want regime change. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You're our foreign policy expert. That's right. There, you know, yeah. uh, we, we, love, we love change, but we also hate change. Change is a lot to deal with, and I think uh, I think slow movements are best. I don't know. Um, yeah, four years isn't slow enough. What, the real the real thing that's fascinating is the fact that all of these like dictators live so damn long. It's unbelievable, He's isn't it? What is down there? We need to take whatever is down there that is the fountain of youth and bring it up here. Jeez, yeah. eighty nine, and he can you know accuse us of owning money. Come on, you're supposed to forget at that age how much money we owe you. Well, they have the the best healthcare system in the world. Yeah. That's what I that's what I learned in college. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Paging doctor to feel good. Who even knows? I mean that they, first of all, they get at dinner this much meat, a teeny little bit of meat. Maybe that's what's keeping them so healthy. But they also have never had cell phones. They're finally starting to get them so they don't have the cancer that oh. will be <laughs> attributed to some of that. But now it's all gonna change. Fantastic. It's a whole new era. Okay.